Today, what I'm going to try and explain to you is how our brains take meaningless information and convert it into meaningful experiences. And that changes how people feel and how they behave. People don't think how they feel. They don't say what they think and they don't do what they say. It was a really interesting insight all into how we perceive the world. It just gives you a whole different slant on the way creative brains work. When we think creatively, we cannot help but step outside of the bubble. We have to continually redefine normality because to survive, we need to change and adapt and to survive better, we adapt and innovate. It's open to everybody. Every business should actually have somebody that actually thinks creatively. So agreed meanings give objects concept and concepts purpose. And our assumptions always take the path of least resistance and direct what we want to see or what it wants to see. He's got this great ability to put into words how emotion affects design. Incentivise people to be brave think outside the box, take the risks, don't do the obvious, and also that, that what you see can deceive you. It's not just creative thinking that works this way, it's almost all negotiations, almost all discussions. I think the overwhelming takeaway is to actually give me a little bit more confidence in talking to my clients and helping them understand a concept. If you add into that intent, that is design by emotional manipulation. I'm actually really lucky because I've seen that talk twice and I think I got more out of it the second time around. Really good balance of sort of interesting ideas that took a while to get your head around and then lots of fun, light-hearted stuff as well. And that changes the stories that we tell, which changes the communities that we make, which changes our environments, which changes societies, which possibly even changes the world.